Hi, we're here to talk about tuples in C Sharp. So Myra, what are tuples? So tuples is um, a, light, a lightweight syntax that was introduced for you to represent data. Ooh, let's take a look at that. Yeah, so let's look with code because I think it will be easier. So with tuples, you kind of remove the complexity of, of having um, classes and deal with that um, Context switching, context switching, right. and and the the rich syntax that you have to use for classes, and so you can define simple data structures with multiple fields by using tuples. Um, so here um, on Docs we have our Tridonet editor where I'm going to show two examples of tuples here. So one like we have what we call a name tuple where we specify the name of the field. So here I'm declaring a name variable that has field one and field two. And note that how I can, now that I specify the name variable, I can use the fields as I would use a property or a field value right. of a class and just print that. Um, C Sharp also has the unnamed tuples as well. And so here you're not giving a name for each field and then you would have the generic item one, item two and so forth. Gotcha. So if we run here, um, you get the result, the same result, either with name or unnamed tuples. So there's quite a few different syntaxes you can use. Yeah, and it's quite rich. Right. So even though it's a really lightweight, it can be really powerful. Yeah. Um, another thing that was introduced in C Sharp 7.3 is that you can do uh, use equality operators with tuples. And so let's run this code here. So you're defining two tuples here, left and right, and in this case, both have the same uh, values here. But if I change this to eight, for example, and run again, it will give you a false. So you can use uh, equality operators and compare two different tuples. Wow, so it kind of recognizes what this object, what this data model is and all of the fields in it, and in it, it can still behave as you would expect. Yeah. Wow. And so it, it makes it really powerful, but simple at the same time. Another thing that I wanted to show you, um, so you can have um, here, you can use, you can assign tup tuples to each other as well. So here, I'm you gonna have put, a tuple within a tuple. You can assign one to the other. Oh, so <laughs> if they have the same number of fields and if the types can be implicitly converted, uh, it will work. Oh, so it recognizes he, it's the same thing. It, it's the same thing. Gotcha. So here, if I change, so I'm here assigning uh, unnamed to name. So if I change this for to a string, for example, and run, it will probably should give me an error that it cannot convert the type because now I made the tuples not the same structure. Yeah. So um, this is a very brief overview of some of the new things with tuples and Tira. So if I wanted to dig in more, where do I go? Yeah, so go to Docs and we have an article explaining all the scenarios and some examples that you can run on Tridonet. Excellent. So use tuples to quickly create um, different data structures in C Sharp with a lightweight syntax. Thanks for watching.